Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are taking a look at our top 10 most anticipated games for Spiel 2023 yes, not 22, not 24 and definitely not 25 yes this is 23 and it's just in a few weeks yeah, I in, can't wait in just like very few weeks it's, it's we're gonna be in Germany and we're gonna look at games and people and be happy yes hopefully yeah and be uh, have cool times yes we, oh, we cool are times. so much looking forward to it i haven't been to spiel in two years oh yeah you haven't no you I were there forgetting. alone last year yeah. and two years ago it was it was spiel but it was still very restricted so it was mm -hmm. very very much smaller and very very few people every board game was yes. tiny tiny like, oh, look at this little game it's fantastic it's so small you can't open it Without tweezers. <laughs> That's all the games. It wasn't like that. No. But it's a joke that we sometimes, Mike, if you haven't been on this channel before, we sometimes yes. make these jokes. Everything is scripted. Yes. So now we're like, we made this joke so we can explain the channel a bit. Mm -hmm. And all of this is scripted for your entertainment. Yes, welcome. So, top 10. Um, as always, when we make these, like the most top 10 lists we make mm -hmm. are of games we have played. Yeah. So the games we know are good. Yes. Uh, remember, I think it was two years ago. We had this one game, or the top 10 anticipated, mm -hmm. which was the worst game that we played from Spiel. Oh, I Do you can't remember, remember it? No, I can't. The uh, escape room at home thing with the 3D oh, yeah. stuff, which was so bad. It was so bad. Mm -hmm. so, oh, yeah, I've forgotten about that. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes that happens. Uh, this is probably going to be a kind of usual suspects list. Yes. Like this is not going to be like the top 10 hidden gems from Spiel. Because we don't know that. And Spiel is hard because there's so many games and we can't possibly get them all. No. So we have to choose yes. the, the ones that we want to get. And before we go into all the else, we're just going to tell you, uh, tell you, tell the audience a little bit about what uh, Spiel videos we're going to do. Yes, we are going to do a this top, this one, and a top 10 tips for people who are maybe new uh, for, for Spiel or a gaming con in general. Yeah. And a vlog, daily vlog from Spiel. We are also, you can meet us at Spiel, of course. And we're also going to make a live, uh, all the games that we have brought from Spiel in the middle of the night. So Midnight that's going special. to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be great. As I said, uh, if you are going to Spiel, please come meet us. We're going to be at the Chili Fox booth. Uh, Friday 14 to 18 and the Porter Games booth uh, Saturday 10 to 14. Yes. So come and say hi. If you see us out in the halls, please do the secret sign. Mm -hmm. It says in the, the script you're supposed to do the secret sign. Oh now. yeah, yes. Do the secret sign and, and, and come and say hi because yeah. we want to meet you all. So let's start with the list. Before we start with the list, uh, oh, ah. see what I did there. Uh, just a couple of games, at, at least one game that's not going to be on this list. Just because we played it quite a bit already. Mm -hmm. And that is the White Castle, which would have been on the list probably yes. if we hadn't already played it. I mm -hmm. played it now five times. I think then you played it four. I played yeah. it one time without you. Uh, it's a great game. Yeah. Uh, basically, we, we cannot do a... Uh, next week, I think, uh, is the embargo. So next week, we're going to do a full two-player playthrough and a review of the White Castle. So you get that next week. Mm -hmm. Cool. Other than that, there's so many games. Uh, go and check our preparation for Spiel. We went through quite a few games and looked at them. And, and these are going to be our top 10 anticipated. And, and it's hard to make these kind of lists. But we're going to start at the end. And I think we agreed upon, it says so in the script, that mm -hmm. you are beginning yes. at the bottom with number 10. Number 10 anticipated for this year's Spiel is Evenfall. <laughs> Drum roll. No, that is. <laughs> I don't think you do the drum and roll. And the nominees are. <laughs> <laughs> After you. And in the script, it says that this is a game that uses multi use cards we like and that. water placement. We like which that. Is really cool mechanisms. So I'm pumped for this game. This is from DLP. I don't really know the designer, uh, but the the theme looks interesting. I know I'm saying that like the, the, the I don't know theme. We don't care. But uh, it, but it, mechanisms it, and it looks nice. It looks yeah. very weird. Remember the cars that we looked at? Yeah. With the, the weird artwork and stuff like that. Yes. So that is one that that we are excited for. One that we really want to play, obviously. Number nine is going to be a game that has kind of already been released at Gen Con, but since we weren't there and this is the first time it's kind of going to be available in Europe, we're still allowing it on the list. And that is Sky Team, which looks to be one of the most unique games of the year. Yes. Uh, it's a two player only game. I don't think they're solo. 
a cooperative game where one person is trying to land a plane and one person is trying to communicate and tell them what to do. It's kind of like the feeling of it. I don't like, I haven't seen a gameplay, but like the description of it kind of reminds me of a game that we have played quite a bit. Mm -hmm. We just keep talking and nobody explodes. Which is a great game. Which like, is a video game. If that meets flight simulator. A board game. Yeah. We don't uh, know. Yeah. It, it, done well. That I'm so excited for it. I just hope it's good because it sounds really unique. We don't know like the mechanisms and stuff. No. Uh, I know Thinker Themer loved it, even mm. though it's not like their f favorite kind of game, which is nice for me because I usually don't like these kind of games. But like a two player co op like this with two different roles sounds very, very interesting. So that is number nine. Mm. Number eight! Number eight is Rats of Wistar. And this is a game by Simone Luciani. And there's also another designer yes. going to be down there. Uh, and I, I, that is basically why we are interested yes. in it. Bye! <laughs> Bye! But and we it's... are shallow people when it comes to Spiel. We look for the names that have produced game, great games in the past. And we hope that Simone Luciani and the other designer puts out a gem this year as well. It's from uh, Quenio Creations and they usually make good stuff. They, mm -hmm. they have a new, uh, and I am actually want to buy this even though it's not a game we play that often, but they have a new Newton map, a double map, hmm. which is a great excuse to play Newton because yeah. Newton is a really fun game. <laughs> rats of Wistar uh, has actually has a really cool theme. Mm -hmm. It's about these rats that are from like a, uh, I think they're like a animal testing facility. Oh, cool. And they, yeah, and yeah, they run away that. and yes. they are smart. So they're like, they can do stuff that and wear clothes. That's an awesome thing. Because smart people wear clothes. And, and the only thing, like we did a live stream, people are saying there, uh, Rado did a playthrough and there seems to be some take that element mm -hmm. in the game, which is not the thing I really like, and some luck as well. But mm. it's gonna be interesting to check it out and we're gonna play it anyways. Yes. Next up is number seven, seven. Arborea, which is a game from Alley Cat Games. This is one that I, I, I backed on, I'm gonna say I, I actually yeah. backed it on Kickstarter, so it might come here just in, before speed, it's probably not gonna have time to do anything on it. Uh, but it's one that we're gonna do afterwards. Uh, so that's like I already backed it. It looks nice It it, it has kind of like the same theme or, or setting as Bitoku with these mm -hmm. kind of uh, Woodland critters godlike things. Mm -hmm. Woodland woodland critters um, And also it is by Danny Garcia. Yeah. It's actually I didn't know this But mm -hmm. we played a game from Danny Garcia that I think we both gave like a nine Okay, maybe you gave it an eight or an, I don't remember. What? I gave it a nine. What? A Barcelona. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was his first published game. That is amazing. That I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, and Arborea is going to be the second published game. So that is like the main reason that I am after playing Barcelona and, and then seeing. I didn't even know that it was the same sound when I backed the game because <laughs> I, I'm stupid. Uh, but it's one that, that looks really, really cool. Cannot wait to play it. Next up. No, no, no. I'm not done. Oh, sorry. Uh, Next I'm, up is. I'm um, just, I'm just joking. But Arborea, I, old, I thought it was like the Pokemon evolution of Arboretum. 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 That has become Arborea. That is my joke. No, okay. I'm done. <laughs> I, I, we, I, we actually deleted that from the script and you added <laughs> it back fine. in. Yeah. <laughs> Numbers. You can cut this. <laughs> number six. Uh, it's my island. It's your island. Yeah, oh. my island. I can't come to no, your island. No, you can't come. But I probably have my own island. Yes. It's by Reiner Kenitia and we love my city. Yes. And I also really liked my city, Roll and Write. Yes. And my island, just like, how can I not? It's it's mine and it's island. Yeah, so you start with a city and now you're going to go with my island. Then you're going to go my continent. Yeah, my world, my, world, my planet, my, my planet. solar system. <laughs> my universe. My universe. <laughs> like it's uh, a 6,000 games long legacy game. Uh, hopefully my island doesn't have a story either. That would be good. Uh, but yeah, I heard that it's it's good, so I cannot wait to play it. Yes. Next up is number... I don't know. Five! five. It's a, a game called Amritsar, uh, the Golden Temple, I think it's like an under title. Uh, and this game is a new one from Ludonola, which has Sabika last year. I think that ended up on both of our top 20 at least. Mm, yeah, I, I think don't remember so exactly where it ended. Yeah. Had a super interesting uh, rondel mechanism. That game was from uh, German Milan who did Bitoku. Mm, this is not by him. He did the, some of the development on it. Yep. Uh, and it's actually on its way to us right now. Uh, cool. So uh, it's one that I we, we are going to do some content on before we go to Spiel. 
But since we haven't played it yet, it's one that we are really much looking forward to. Yes. It has interesting mechanisms, looks cool. I think there's some Rondell stuff in this one as well. Oh. And it's going to be great. Yeah, yeah. Next up is number... Oh, did you have a joke? No, I don't know. No. Number four. <laughs> Thanks for checking in. Um, number four is Kapna Aura. Or Hora, I don't know. Yes. Um, but it is a new city builder game from CGE. Yes. New designers. We haven't mm -hmm. heard about that, them before. I think they're that this is their first game that they're designing. Dum, dum, actually. Dum. Yeah. So I don't know anything more than that. Do you have anything to In, add? Oh, I'm, I'm, my brain is like working so hard uh, because I did read about this game and now I forgot everything I read. There is some mechanisms. Yeah, cool. And, and there is theme probably. Uh, maybe. And there's maybe. components in the game. Yeah, and sometimes we really wonder if the game has a rule book. So I hope it has that as I, well. I think this one actually comes without the rule book. Oh. And you kind of make your own rules. Okay, cool. Uh, it, 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 there is a rule book. And uh, this is one that we are going to pick up. Looks really, really nice. Yes, it's sometimes these are basically so. so solely based on designer pedigree or publisher pedigree. Uh, and because we're shallow and we want the things that everybody wants because yeah. and we usually like these kind of bigger euro games and we want to pick them up and play them and move things around and get victory points cool next up is number three which is evacuation from Vladimir Suhi and um, last year Woodcroft was a co-design last year before that Messina was a co-design uh, I read the um, the designer diary, or I, I skimmed it for evacuation, and Vladimir was like, now I really want to go back and see how it was to design a big game by myself again, seeing <laughs> like how maybe he has changed, all of that. Uh, it looks very nice. You have this board with two planets, and this little, almost like an infinity loop going around them. Uh, I don't know a lot about it, and I don't need to know a lot about it, because it's Vladimir Suhi. Yeah. And, and basically, I don't think I played something from him that I haven't at least liked mm -hmm. like there's a couple i don't love but the last games like runecraft was fantastic yeah. uh, messina 1347 fantastic mm -hmm. uh and the water city is really good yeah. uh and the pulsar 2849 is mm -hmm. a fantastic game uh, so no we cannot wait for this hopefully this is also another one that we will be able to do some content on before spiel yeah. uh, there's been a split back and forth now i'm crossing all my fingers that it will be here in time only two more games. Yeah. Number, number two. two is Nucleum. And this is a new game by David Tursi and Simone Luciani. That's just like two takes. Yes. Uh, like we have to get it now. Other than that, I don't know anything. I hopefully you do something. If yes. you wonder if I've learned anything <laughs> from our our like a video going through all the mm -hmm. games. It was a lot of games. I can't remember them all. Nucleum has been said to be like the child of... Brass mm -hmm. and Barrage. Oh, yeah. That is promising. Um, I like at least one of those games. <laughs> <laughs> I love both of them. Uh, so maybe a, a bit tighter and maybe a bit more mean version of, of Brass. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. And it's interesting. David Tursi uh, really, like, everybody knows him for his solo designs. And obviously, the last few years he's done quite a few bigger designs as well. But it's been fun because Tursi has been on those names that's always been there. Mm -hmm. Like for many years, I always knew him, saw him, saw his face at conventions, on Facebook groups, and now it just like have exploded. Like in one thing is all of the solo modes, but, but these games, Voidfall, we just mm -hmm. played. Uh, Imperium, like the, you haven't played that. We have two boxes of Imperium. No. That is the card, the drafting oh, yeah, card you game. Play that. I, I haven't. played it once. Yes. Uh, but Tavant and Suyu, he did by himself. Uh, and there's just like so many interesting things that he've done. And, and, I'm, and I'm always excited for something. And Luciani as well. Mm -hmm. So these two together, uh, Nucleum, fingers crossed still that it might be here before Spiel, or else we're going to pick up a copy and Spiel and do it probably pretty fast before we, after we get home. Not yes, before we get before home. we get home. The only one we're going to do before that. Which I probably want to play like the night we come home. Yeah. If I don't want to play it at the con. Yeah. Uh, maybe we should like sit down and play this at the con. And that is number one. Number oh, one. Oh, I'm saying number one. I spoke yes, about you it. Are. You can say it if you want to because yes. I just spoke about Nucleum as well. It's Planta Nubo. Mm -hmm. And this is a designer trio oh, that yeah. we are super, super excited for. And that's not often. Like no. three designers like this, especially not 
These three designers? No, like established designers who haven't worked together before. I couldn't like, yeah, you could name three designers and be like, oh, that would never happen. Mm. But now it actually has happened. Yes. It is Michael Keller, um, uh, Ode, yep. and Uwe Rosenberg. That Michael is Keller pretty awesome. And Ode is obviously mostly known for making La Granja. Yeah. And now, uh, I don't remember if Keller was in on... Uh, La, he was totally in on La it. Burro, or what's it called, like the, the, the new one? No, uh, I don't, don't remember. remember. Sorry about that. Uh, and also, Una has made a fantastic game, Cooper Island. Oh, yeah. The one where you only get four points yeah. through the whole game. It but is it's so amazing. to get those games and the 3D mechanism there. Uh, and this game looks fantastic. It looks like... And of course, Rosenberg, one yeah. of our favorite yeah, designers. Yeah, yeah. And seeing this make a game together... Have you seen any of the mechanisms? No, I haven't actually. There, uh, and I'm asking you as if I now remember all of them. <laughs> uh, but it, it looks like they're, they're, oh, I, I'm trying to, to like put my brain into because you know everything is capable. I'm just trying to make. Oh, I don't oh, yeah. remember it. It's still there in front of me on the script. Just trying to read it. Uh, no, but there, there's going to be some uh, tile placement like face for Odin, patchwork. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be, if I remember correctly. Some I don't remember, uh, but it like the things I read. Go and read it on BGG. This is not going to be the end all video for all. Do of you these know games. the mechanisms? No, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but yeah, this is one that obviously going to be one of the first games that we play back home if we don't get to play it at the con. Yeah. This might be one that we just get home. We do the live stream. We upload the the, uh, the last vlog. Mm -hmm. We sleep. And then we just sit down to film a playthrough of the Planet of New Boy in yeah, the Yeah, I was a little scared that you were proposing to play it in the night after we No, that was failed. a joke. <laughs> we would never do that because I'm going to be so tired. Yes, like, that would be horrible. It's going to be like half past one in, yeah. the, in the morning. That's, that that's going to happen. like a bad plan. But yeah, those are ten games. And yeah. there's there's many more games that oh, we are so many games. excited for as well. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, just please let us know if there's any game you feel like, oh, you have to check out this one. Uh, because there's so many games, so it's easier to kind of overlook something. Mm -hmm. Especially the smaller games that might end up being super good. Mm -hmm. And many of them end up not being super good, even though they look kind of interesting. Uh, but as always, we're probably going to bring back loads of games that we end up playing, reviewing, selling, never remember that exists. There's so many times when I see a picture of a game or a game in BG stats, I'm like, oh, that's a game mm -hmm. that we played sometime. One thing I always do uh, is that I look at uh, the, the pictures, of, because we always take pictures of all the games we get at Spiel, and looking at them and seeing, seeing like how many games are we still keeping, like yeah. four years, five years, six years. That on. would be an interesting video, actually. Like taking a picture of that and summing up which do we still have. Uh -huh. That would be interesting. If you want to see that, let us know. If you don't want to see that, Maybe let us know, like, we don't want to see that. That's a <laughs> Nobody comment. cares. But it's a comment. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, please let us know the games that you are the most excited for in the uh, comments. Uh, which one of these are you super excited for? What other games are you super excited for? Uh, uh, and I'm, I'm really excited for the six-hour-long Matthias Kramer game. The one. Yeah, yeah, I don't get it. Way more! Fight for, for the cr democracy. I love the theme. It's kind of like the same style as the... Um, the mocker. Mm -hmm. But this is earlier, like this is trying, this is historical, which I don't care about. So but it is it not on the top 10 list. No, it's not. But it's it's one that I am. Is really... it like number 11? I know. It probably would have been like in the top 20. Uh, Maybe in the top 100. We backed it, uh, or I backed it. Uh, yes, you do did. you want to guess the price? No. <laughs> it's no. expensive. No. So we're going to end the video. Can with... I undo it? Uh, is it too late? Too late to undo it. Okay. That's the end. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, you can help us out in a big way by giving us a victory point. And we get victory points when you click that subscribe button down there. You can also click the bell to get notifications every time we post a new video. Which is pretty often, especially right now. Yeah. And that is the end of this video. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye-bye.